generations, gardening has been in the blood of Portanova founders. Today, they join us as we revisit the origins of Hollanda, the Portanova brand to be introduced this coming April. Enduring everything the weather threw at them, Father Koos and son Art arrived at the farm by bicycle every day. Early every morning, they kicked off their daily activities together. In the open field, rose beds were prepared and maintained in the swampy peat soils of the Dutch lowlands. With his numerous years of experience, Koos knew exactly how to grow a good quality rose. It is during this time that the first greenhouses are built and cultivation moves indoors. Here we can see how Coase introduces his son, Art, to the tricks of the trade. Inside the packing shed, the roses are professionally rolled up in paper. Time for a final check and then the roses are ready to be transported to the auction. The roses are brought daily to the well-known Dutch auctions by barge. That was no easy feat, as both gentlemen had to work in perfect harmony as they pushed their barge poles relentlessly to reach the auction on time. At the auction, the roses are sold to traders through a bidding process. It was up to son Art to display the roses and recommend them to the buyers in the hall. And with a little help from the auctioneer, the price of such top products was pushed up considerably. There were plenty of bids from various traders, but it was the well-known quality trader, Jan de Boer of Berenson Firm, who left the young lad chuffed by scooping the entire loot. Traders of Jan de Boer's ilk stood for quality, and would often visit the grower's farm to acquaint himself with this. This created close relationships between trader and grower. Even today, Firma Berenson appreciates having a cup of coffee at the Portanova nursery. A lot has changed at the nursery of course, but the joint pursuit for top quality is still of paramount importance. It is the year 2021 and we have arrived at Portanova's newest location. Here almost 80 million top roses are grown every year in an environmentally friendly way and housed in a brand new greenhouse complex. Jan wanted to see all of that, and with all the love they shared, Art wanted to give him the tour. The roses are now grown on substrate inside a greenhouse, where the climate is completely under control, hence all year round quality is assured. Light, nutrition, temperature, humidity are accurately determined and of course natural methods are used to combat diseases and pests. A Michelin star restaurant has even been set up at the Portanova premises where perfect gourmet meals for the plants are prepared and served at a precise time every day. And then there is the green room, the green heart of Portanova. In combination with the climateurs in the greenhouse, the green room ensures that Portanova is the first zero gas grower in the whole country. Art passes on the traditional skills in the craft of cultivation to Glenn, who combines this with his master's degree knowledge in plant science. Before you know it, the new generation is also already knocking on the door. Grandson Jeff 
is already making his contribution during the weekend, adding what we can readily recognize as the unique flair of today's youth. After harvesting, the Potanova roses arrive in the audition room, where they are extensively assessed to see who amongst them deserves the Potanova designation. Thanks to the recent expansion in the company and the shift of fresh plants in existing greenhouses, Portanova can also guarantee the very best Supra, Unica and Magna Red Naomi roses all year round in the future. An additional advantage is that Portanova can select an extra batch of roses from the greenhouses and thus broaden the Red Naomi range. These roses will be offered under the brand Hollander. Hollander roses are beautiful, reliable, traditional Dutch red roses grown with the admired Dutch craftsmanship and passion. They have the reliability, scent and vase life you are accustomed to with Portanova, but they are just a little lighter. In this segment of the market, there is a great demand for such a quality rose. Jan de Boer has already taken home the first bunches. The rest of the trade on florists will soon be able to acquire theirs.